so for the past month or so now, I have been struggling with a lot of things really. The Jeep's just been a bit of a pickle lately, as per usual, but ever since I got the wiring harness rewired, I've had a couple issues with the alternator fuses just blowing up and it's been a real pickle. It's also really delayed me from being able to trust the Jeep enough to really travel in it once again and it just overall has been a big hold up. On top of everything else, recently I have been struggling a lot with my depression and I am very aware of the fact that a lot of people really don't understand exactly what depression is. Depression it seems to be something that people think you can just will away, like it's a choice that people make. You either choose to be depressed or you choose to be happy. And I think that misconception strays from the fact that depression is nothing more than an emotion. My favorite way it's been described before to try to dumb it down to people is the scene from Inside Out. The very end where Riley is running away and her whole control panel just shuts down and the emotions point out that they are not able to make Riley feel anything. The reason that I find this so interesting is because people don't seem to understand that depression has nothing to do with sadness in itself, but more specifically, the whole lack of emotion. Because of this, I have been having issues finding motivation to really get things done, whether this be fixing the Jeep, creating more videos, or just being excited with getting back on the road. It's just been a real challenge for me to really be my enthusiastic self. At the end of the day, I really want to get back on the road, back on this road trip, and get back to traveling while living in my Jeep. For the next couple of weeks, the plan is to work as hard as possible to fix every little thing on the Jeep, everything that really needs to be fixed just so I can get back on the highway. This includes the muffler, as well as some little nicks and crannies around the corners. And as soon as that's done, I'm going to head to New Mexico. My plan is to get to the Lincoln National Forest. I don't really know what the plan is from there, but the Lincoln National Forest is only about five hours away from Midland, which means that I'll have enough time to be able to get there, set up a camp, and just kind of soak it all in. I've lost all my enthusiasm to create these videos and I even gave up on so many hobbies of mine that I used to be extremely enthusiastic about and I want to fix that. As the little boy Anakin once said, it's working, it's working. So basically the current diagnosis of the Jeep, the fuses kept blowing for the alternator. Again, it, it was working for like a week and then out of nowhere they just blew again. Since I did rewire my entire, you know, the harness or whatever for the relay box, I just remember there are two wires that match exactly. They were both white with yellow lines. They went to different fuses. So thinking about it for a while, I started wondering, when I, when I wired them up, I wasn't sure if I got them right because I was matching them by color. Theoretically, swap those two wires around and it might fix the problem. Cannot guarantee that it will fix the problem at this point, but I can at least guarantee that it did not cause a problem. So I think I'm gonna snug it all back up, cross my fingers, and hope that it's all good from there. But no promises. I don't wanna be this depressed person anymore, and it's been something that I've been trying to work on for a very long time now. So from now on, I want to work to get this done.